<laughs> well, my name is Sophie, I'm from Sweden and I'm here as a freestyle skater. So a typical work day, you wake up, you set on the coffee machine first thing for sure. Morning. And here we actually, we go by bus transportation to a separate venue because we need the ice, right? So we come here, we warm up. Usually we do choreography on, on the ice. Ha, ha, round, hip, 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 and pound, pound, pound. But we also have a lot of other elements in this show. We are learning stick manipulation, we have acting classes, truly incorporating a lot more elements than just normal figure skating in this. And as freestyle skater, we also take the time to do a lot of acrobatics off the ice before we go onto the ice. After work, you sleep. <laughs> no, it's very, like with, for all athletes, like it's very important to always cool down, stretch, foot bath, <laughs> those type of things. I would say that's definitely a process that comes with how comfortable you get in the show. For me, I can almost get like an outside of body experience where I just see everything from, from outside of me. And when you step off, you barely remember what you just did. <laughs> As you get more comfortable, that's when like the beauty with this kicks in, when you can actually like start um, getting a connection with the audience and you get very secure in your role and you can start putting more emotions and acting and, and face expression and all of this into it. Uh, and that's when it all becomes so much fun. In our act, I think what's most impressive is the variosity of skaters. Since freestyle skating has so many different elements and different styles within it that we're all very, very different. We all have our own approach to it, which makes the number very intense and very, very trick-based. To apply for a Cirque du Soleil job, uh, you need to show everything you've done. For me, it was my gymnastic background, all my dancing, skating, theater, like literally every little thing you have in your box, you just need to, to show it out there. I have a background in gymnastics. I was doing gymnastics when I was a little kid, up until I was 13 years old. And then I transferred into figure skating. Uh, my favorite element in gymnastics was the floor, because that's when you got to be a little bit more creative and you got to pick your music. So I guess that's kind of dragged me into the figure skating side of it. And I competed in figure skating for five years. And then I got dragged into the show business for the same reason. I love the creativity of it and to be performing on stage. After I stopped competing, I traveled the world with the cruise ships and I performed in the ice shows on board some of the biggest cruise ships in the world. I believe the combination from my background with an acrobatic background and the skating, it's a very good fit for me and I'm very happy to be here. I would say the most challenging so far is patience, for sure. It's a uh, Creation takes a lot of patience, which is also the beauty of it. Everything is created on the spot. You get to be a part of how everything comes together, all the different elements with both choreography and music and lights and everything. It's time to set some lights, which is truly like an amazing experience, but it takes a lot of patience. It's a lot of puzzle pieces to put together. Um, and then to just constantly stay warm, stay in shape. So coming here as a Cirque du Soleil artist, um, I don't think we can point out enough how well taken care of we are. We have a PMED who looks after us. We have a lot of resources around and a lot of equipment to help us stay in shape and to be very, very safe. And also the, how friendly everyone is and how well we all work together. I think it's important to find your own uniqueness. For me, example, that's when I started moving my gymnastics over to the ice, finding something that not a lot of other people are doing, and also really think about the love you have for performance, because that's what we all are based on, our love for performing. If I would describe our show Axel in three words, I would use futuristic, intense, 
and if you're able to read between the lines, you can find a lot of hidden messages to relate to.